Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It is Tony here from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. Um, let's wait for some quick feedback. Make sure the video is good. Make sure the audio is good uh, before we get started. So quickly, if you hear me, please in the chat type in where you're from, uh, how many times you've been on the show, and if you could see my video, okay, type in okay. Video okay, audio okay. Give me a quick thumbs up. Let me know. I want to make sure we're coming in. Uh, before getting deep into the uh, show tonight. So if you guys are on your desktop, mobile device, uh, there's a little chat option where you could chat in and give me some feedback and let me know if you hear me and see me. I'm going to try not to shake the computer around so much so we lose connection. Uh, it's been having a little bad connection here uh, this morning. Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you, Tim. Video and audio, okay. Great. Thank you so much. Great, great, great. So how many of you guys joined up through the YouTube live application? Did that notification go off and you found me? Or uh, did you get an email invite? Because I also emailed uh, this invite out a little while ago, and I kind of did it on a short notice. So I'm sorry if it was a such a short notice. Um, and this show is actually supposed to go on a little earlier. But I had some things I had to do. I'm still in Japan right now. I was supposed to head back last week, but I had to cancel my flight due to a rotator cuff injury. But i in and out of the hospital. I'm all right now. I could kind of move my arm a little bit. But um, things are going well. So how's everybody doing? How many of you guys are on a mobile device? How many people are watching from their cell phone in bed or just from their cell phone right now? Type in mobile if you're on a mobile device. Kind of curious how many people are on mobile versus desktop. If you're on a desktop or regular computer, just type in desktop. Um, just kind of curious uh, about that. Um, mobile. Awesome, awesome, awesome. North Carolina. Mobile. A lot of people on mobile. Mobile is pretty convenient because you could be basically be in your bed. And just watch a YouTube live, learn something, and go to bed. iPad, laptop, mobile. So we got pretty much, uh, what's up, Russ? We got pretty much, I would say, 70 80% mobile so far. That is pretty crazy. Mobile again. I'm on a desktop right now. The reason why it's beneficial for me to be on a desktop is because I could actually type a little bit quicker and um, send you guys links and do other things. Mobile. Hard to do that on my end. Desktop, but I usually do mobile. Uh, mobile, pretty cool. Now, quickly, how many of you are a first-timer on live tonight? We are actually live right now, 100% live. Whatever you tell me, I see it live, and I could reply back to your questions. It is total live. I'm in Japan right now. You can see it's daytime here. It's 11.06 a.m. Um. And I just said, hey, I want to do the, the live for you guys today. I don't want to miss out. It's Tuesday. So we are good. So hopefully um, hopefully we get some good uh, information out to you guys tonight. And uh, I wanted to share with you another awesome testimonial that I got from a mentee of mine who went through my F1 Auto Cash Formula program. Uh, literally just weeks ago, and he sent in for a ad critique, I would say a week ago, I replied to his ad critique. See, when you join F1 as a VIP member, not only do I teach you everything I know, my life's work about buying and selling cars, profit, negotiating, finding good deals, how to sell your cars fast, not only do you get all the insider information on that, but you also get access to my time if you want it, okay? Not a lot of people reach out to me. You know, a lot of people, they invest in the program, but not a lot of people actually reach out after going through the program and say, hey, this is a car I bought and sold. Here's the information. Critique my ad. And this is what I really want you to do is say, hey, Tony, I, I, I want you to follow through on the trainings that I put out there for you, right? So if you take action on what I'm telling you to do, you will get results 100% guaranteed. It is guaranteed that my mentee students who go through my program and do what I say, everything is laid out step by step, super simple, you will get 
results. You will make money. Okay. And this is what happened with Nestor. Um, so for every member who, who invests in the F1 program, which is peanuts, by the way, you get three ad critiques from me personally. So that means that after you get a deal, you spruce it up, you do what you got to do to it, you put it online to advertise it, to sell it. You send me that link, that Craigslist link or Kijiji link or whatever URL, whatever eBay link, however you're advertising your car. And I will critique your ad 100% for free. I will take my time out of the day. I will record a personal one-on-one -on -one video for you and give you pointers, tips, how to change your ad, what I would do differently to the ad to make your car sell quicker, everything. And I will send you that video personally. Okay. You get my time. I don't usually, I don't normally do this. I charge a lot of money for my time. Okay. For my other internet consulting business, I charge $1,500 an hour. Okay. The only reason I'm here doing this, teaching people how to flip cars for profit is because it's helped me get to the next level in life. Okay. And it's a skill that if you learn and you put to action, you can easily make a few extra thousand dollars per month on your part time. And this kind of income can drastically help anybody out in any situation. You know, when I was first starting out with this, I mean, I was buying and selling cars since I was 16 years old. Okay. I'm going to be 35 this year. <laughs> I'm getting up there. Okay. I have a lot of experience in the car game. Okay. I may look young, but I have a lot of experience and I want to share my life's work with you. I want to gift you my life's work, all the mistakes that I've made, okay, all the failures that I went through. Everything is step-by-step -step in my F1 program, which will allow you to not only shortcut your success, but have the unfair advantage to really take things to the next level from a total beginner standpoint. So if you're coming in br brand new, total newbie, never flipped a car before, I think it's even better for you because you're not brainwashed with other detrimental mindsets and beliefs that tell you that you can't do it. If you come in as a total newbie and you start learning these skills, you're like, oh, wow, I could do this. All right, Tony's telling me to do this. I'm just going to do it. You don't have any pre-inputted you know, pre beliefs in your brain that tells you, that, that blocks you from success. A lot of people have this internal block for it achieving success. So you, we need to get rid of that block, okay? And you need to start thinking of abundance, prosperity. There's more deals out there than I need, okay? A lot of people are like, Tony, why are you sharing these strategies? You know, you're just going to hurt yourself. No, I'm not, okay? There's 7 billion people on this planet. There is more for all of us than we need, okay? There's so much money out there. It's how do we provide value? How do we get a car for somebody and create a win-win situation and have a deal so sweet, people are going to be like, wow, this is a deal. They're going to buy it from you. So with that said, is this making sense to everybody here? Is this making sense? If this is making sense to you, please say, yes, Tony, it's making sense. If it's not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me some quick feedback and I want to read to you word for word what Nestor emailed me. Last night, I woke up to this email and I was like, oh my God, this guy is the bomb. So this is a public congratulations to Nestor. And, um, and let me read it out, okay? So I'm going to open up my email here. And this is what Nestor said. Dude, how's it going? Nestor the investor here, writing to let you know the F1 formula training is a complete success. It has paid itself off 20 times over on my very first flip. I just sold a car for $6,000. The buyer paid cash. Your ad critique, thank you for your, you critiqued my ad within 24 hours. Thank you. Remember, I had listed it for $8,500 and I did as you said. I lowered the price competitively at $6,500 OBO. Dude, my phone was off the hook and I'm still getting calls today. No lie. The buyer came out to check the car out on Sunday. This was a couple of days ago. And I closed the deal today with my auction dealer friend who did the title work. I was in the car, four grand, total expenses and fees, sold it for 6000 <clears throat> My net profit was 2000 cash in my pocket today around lunchtime. 
I priced it so good, he invited me out for lunch. I built a great rapport during the showing of the car and made him feel as if he was getting a deal. He was. I only shaved off 500 due to the windshield crack. Still a 33% net profit in 30 days turnaround on my first flip. Better than any other investment I've done. <clears throat> I think I can do this. I think I can do this month, maybe three. Now I have $6,000 to play with. Any advice, Tony? First experience going through the auction, lots of fees, and I can see how your buddy went out of business. My friend is welcoming to welcoming me to continue to go to the auction under him for now. I'm trying to try Craigslist and see how it goes. Thanks a million, bro. Now I need the body and paint course to spruce it up myself. I love that phrase. So I this is a public congratulations to Nestor for taking action. Okay, because the people who get results are the people who take action. Nestor followed my advice. He followed the F1 course. He took notes. He took action. He applied what I taught him, and he made money. Now he's asking me for more advice. And for me, I want to give him more advice because he's a success. He's taking action. He's taking my advice. He's looking at me as a mentor. And Nestor is on the call right now. Nestor, is that you or is this a different Nestor? N guys, Nestor is in the chat. Nestor, is this you? Is this the same Nestor that I'm celebrating right now? If it is, type in yes, Nestor. Uh, if it's not, because I know we have, it says me, bro. So, so Nestor from Dallas, this YouTube live was actually dedicated toward you. I got your email this morning and I was like, oh my God, this is what happens when people actually take action and follow through. And you're on the call today. Congrats. Everybody in here, give, please give Nestor a round of applause for taking action. He made his first $2,000 in profit flipping a car as a result of going through the F1 formula. Correct, Nestor? Is that not a lie? Is that correct? Is that 100% on the money? And I will be answering your question uh, about moving forward and what to do on this call today. All right? I will be answering your questions and giving you some pointers and, and some advice on what I think you should do. Of course, it's totally up to you, but I already have a game plan set up for you and what you can do to that six thousand dollars to turn it into twelve thousand okay so i have a game plan for you and i want to share that with you on this call today um i know it's eleven fifteen at night no it's ten fifteen at night and 11 it's nine fifteen at night in dallas right now so um that is awesome okay so before we get to the q a uh paul um Let's talk about Nestor. Okay, so Nestor, you have $6,000 to play with right now. Here's, here's what I would do, okay, especially if you're just starting out like this. Um, I would, okay, take your time. I'm, still in, I'm actually still in Japan. Yes, I am. Um, I had a rotator cuff injury uh, last week. I had, I, I had an MRI two days ago and x-rays and they gave me four uh four shots of cortisone in my arm um i can now lift my arm by myself before i couldn't move it i was in bed pain tears like the most pain i ever had in my life like um it was it was excruciating pain non-stop even though i was on painkillers it was ridiculous but anyway my shoulder's getting better um, when I get back uh, in town in Dallas, I'm going to start doing some rehab training and, you know, on my own, of course, and, uh, you know, working my shoulder out because I have a couple of paint projects that I got to finish this summer. Um, anyway, Nestor, here's what I would do. I would take that six grand and buy two cars. Okay. I would take that six grand and buy two cars. Here's why. With a $3,000 deal. Okay, you may think you're dealing with low-end cars, but if you hunt around and you do well and you're buying, remember I told you buying is where you make your money. So if you do well and you're buying, you're going to be able to have a $3,000 deal 
that you can probably sell for 5000 to 5500 Okay? I would look for a car where you're totally invested in three grand that has a retail value of $6,000, roughly, 55 to six. And you could flip that one car and you could make $2,000 profit, okay? Maybe 1,500 to, 15 on the low side, okay? No less than 15. You wanna try to make at least 1,500 from that one car deal. Me, because I guess I have so much experience, I know what I'm doing, I could double that. I could easily double that. And it all depends. It's not because I'm special. It depends on the deal. So if you find the right deal, you could, you could really double 2,500. So if you're invested in a car, 2,500, you can sell it for five grand. If you have the right deal, you can have 2,500 in a deal and sell it for, 20, for five grand and make a 100% ROI. Okay. That is totally 100% doable. Okay. And I've done cars where I made two, 300% ROI. Okay. And more. So I would, I would go that you could, you could say, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I just want to do one car. And you could look for a car around three to four grand that you can resell and make another two grand on. Sorry. My nose is itchy. All right. So that's what I would do. I would try to go to the goal, and this is where you could pretty much double your money if you do it right, okay? So if you get two cars and you have 3,000 invested in each car and they're valued at about $6,000 retail, okay? 6,500 to 6,000 retail, you could let them go for like 55 or 6,000 and get close to doubling your money. You wanna to try to get close to doubling your money. Then you could probably, I think the way you're going, you could easily turn that six to 10,000, okay? You could easily turn the six to 10. If you do a good job, maybe you'll even do 11 to 12,000. So keep me posted on that. I'm here. If you wanna send me uh, another critique or, uh, it might be hard if you're, if you're looking at a deal and you wanna say, hey, Tone, check out this deal. Because I'm, I'm going to be traveling within the next couple of days. I'm leaving Japan um, on Friday. And I just got a lot of things I have to wrap up before I leave. So it may be late by the time you say, hey, Tony, check out this car deal. Should I buy it? By the time I reply, the car might be sold. You know what I mean? Because time is of the essence. When finding deals and dealing with buyers and sellers, time is of the essence. Okay? The early bird gets the worm. 100% in this game. The early bird gets the worm. Okay, so you got to be quick with these. When you spot a deal, boom, call them, go with cash, grab the deal. Okay, um, and with PayPal now and with some of the payment systems, you can say, hey, hold the car for me. I'll send you 100 bucks down, down payment. Hold the car. I'm going to come out today to pay you the balance or uh, buy the car from you. Okay, um, so any questions, Nestor? So that's my recommendation to you. You could say, no, nah, I don't want to do two cars. I just want to do one maybe, um, pay a little bit more. It all depends. Um, you know, you could buy and sell cheaper cars and make a couple grand per flip. And you could even sell higher end cars and only make a couple grand per flip. So there is a sweet spot. And like I said, I like to deal with cars selling below 10000 That's where you could make the most chunk of cash without laying out so much. Like me. I'm actually thinking of selling my BMW Z3 uh, M edition this summer. I may, as a test, put it on the market and just see what I get, see what kind of offers I get. I'm not in a rush to sell it. I don't need to sell it. I bought it for 13 grand uh, maybe two years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, it is a 2000 BMW Z3 M edition with 39,000 miles on it. Um, super clean, okay, pretty much all original. Um, it's, it will be a collector car. It's, it's starting to become a collector car. Um, it's a 2000, so it's 17 years old. Once it hits, once it hits 20 years old, the value is going to increase a lot. Once it hits 25 year old, the value is going to skyrocket. So my whole thing was, I was thinking of just keeping it and just storing it on the side and just keeping it for years and having a classic that I could probably sell for 30 grand down the future, you know, but you got to hold the car for that, for that long. If you want to, of course, the longer you keep it, the more the value is going to go up. Um, so I'm thinking of actually, I got it for 13. I think I'm in it like 13, five. I put some paint work in it. 
Um, I got it registered and all that. So I'm in it at about 35, 36. Um, I'm thinking of listing it or trying to get, if I can get 18.5 or 19.5 for it now, I'll sell it. This way I'll make myself around five grand, but that's not a lot, lot of profit when you think about it. So if I can't sell it for at least 18.5, I'm going to sit on it. There's no sense for me to, to get rid of it right now because I was thinking of uh, putting some of that money into the Miata project that I have. I have a, a 97 Mazda Miata. I was thinking of just turning it into a street, uh, not a street racer, but a car track, a track car, car track, and um, buying a complete turbo kit for it, putting a whole turbo system in it, and just swooping it up to close to 300 horsepower and just having a fun little Miata track car to play with, you know, putting the racing seats in it. I already bought a steering wheel for it. Just having fun with it, you know, because it's just sitting there and I want to start having some fun with it. I was actually thinking of turning the BMW into a, a, a track car, but too much mods needed and I didn't want to, you know, mess up an original deal like that, you know, original car. The Mazda Miata is a little older. I mean, it is a, it is still a classic, but um, so that was kind of my plan for the summer. So. <clears throat> Um, let's see with what's his name. Nestor said, I would like to stay around 30 under 35 per vehicle, including all expenses. That's a great Nestor. That's a good goal. That's perfect. I would say, why not? Um, if you can stay under three grand. And like I said, with that 6,000, you can have two deals that you're sitting on, right? With a potential to make 2000 profit on each. That'll turn your six to 10 within the next 30 days or so if you do it right. Okay. And then once you're at 10,000, then your goal is to, to double that and double that and double that. And then soon, by the end of the year, you may be sitting on $50,000 to play with, right? That would be a big game changer for you. And, you know, just because you have all this money now, don't go crazy and blowing it, okay? Use this money to get to the next level, to invest in other businesses, uh, to put a down payment on a home, right? Uh, to take yourself to the next level because... Time is money, man. And, and in this life, time is our, one of our most precious commodities. You know, we're getting older every year. We need to start planning and thinking about our future as well, right? We start, we, if, we, if we live, uh, like, I don't know what to call it, Hollywood, you know, Hollywood rich, um, and just blow our money as it comes, we're not going to have anything left for us and for our kids. We need to start planning out, guys, and that's super important. Um, I'm also a real realtor here in Dallas. So awesome, Nestor. I mean, you are flipping cars is something I've been wanting to do. And thanks to you, bro. Awesome. So with this flipping cars thing, you know, in say you do it part time and in one year you save 30, 40 grand, that's enough to put a down payment on a little house that you could flip. Right. And potentially make 40, 50, 60 grand on a flip, flipping a house. Right. So it gives you, you know, it gives you extra cash is what it does. You know, it's, it gives you extra cash. And if you have to live on it, you know, if, if something happened to your job or the real estate market crashed, which I don't think it will in Dallas, um, it'll probably dip if it ever, if it does, but it's strong. Like, like Hawaii real estate in Dallas is high, is, is cranking. So it's a good place to be. Um, and you know, it. Like Nestor says, it, it does open doors. It gives you more opportunity. The more money you have, the more opportunity you have. Okay, so be smart about it, okay? It can be easy money, so it could be easily spent. Um, for you people out there, if, if you want to, you could make this a full-time income. I used to, flipping cars to profit used to be my main source of income. That's all I did for a long time until I saved my money, until I started investing, until I started opening other businesses, okay? It, it funded my lifestyle, supported my wife and my kid when we fir were first starting out. You know, it supported my wife and my kid. That's, this is how we were doing it, okay? And it was all from me learning the skill of buying and selling mopeds when I was 13 years old. My father taught me the skill of flipping mopeds, scooters, 50cc scooters for profit. I was 12, 13 years old. I had a paper route and um, I was working every single day of the week, delivering newspapers to about 300 homes in my valley in Hawaii. 
and I was getting paid like $240 a month. And I would get tips for Christmas. You know, I remember one Christmas, it only lasted like a year and a half. But I remember I made more money in tips from all the people giving me a 20, giving me a 30, you know, some houses giving me a 10. They added up to like 500 bucks in tips during that Christmas season. I was the happiest kid on the block. But, um, you know, my dad said, why are you busting your butt so much with this? Why don't I teach you how? And, you know, I would come from a split up family. So I wasn't always with my dad. My dad was a car mechanic, body shop owner. That was my biological dad, you know, from New York. Uh, moved to Hawaii in 1975, had me in 1982. And um, that's how I grew up. And I was living at home with my mom and my stepfather. By the time I was, you know, at seven, they got divorced. And, you know, growing up from 10 to... 10 to 20, I was, um, you know, with my mom and my stepfather. So I uh, started hanging out with my biological dad. He taught me how to flip mopeds for profit. And um, that's what I would do. I would look in the penny saver. There was no Craigslist back then. There was a penny saver, you know, penny savers. Um, and I would look in things. We'd find a, a motorcycle, scooter, not a motorcycle, scooter for like 100 bucks or 150 bucks. I'd buy it take the carburetor, take the carburetor apart, clean it up, tune the little moped up, get it running and flip it for like six, seven, 800 bucks and make 500 bucks. And by the time I was 14, 15, I was making 1500 to $2,000 a month flipping these little mopeds, you know, buying, spending 35 to $40, buying a little text ad in the penny saver, right? And having people come to my mom's house doing freaking deals outside at 13, 14 years old, selling mopeds. And this is what I was doing. And then I eventually moved to motorcycles. And then by the time I was 19, I was doing auction cars, like crazy, crazy auction cars. And at that time, 19, this is 15 years ago, 15 to 17 years ago, um, the auctions were a great place to be at. The auctions were a great place. There was hardly a lot of competitors there. Um, and you would get deal after deal after deal. One day I went there, I bought three Miatas. I came out with three Miatas for like under 1200 bucks. I ended up flipping all those three Miatas within, I would say six weeks. And I, I must've made close to $15,000. And these were, some of them were salvage. I think most of them are salvage because these were, this was a salvage insurance auto auctions I was going to, but they were new cars, right? And people weren't really buying Miatas. I don't know why. For me, it was like Hawaii, dude. People like Miatas. So I, I always grew up liking the Miatas. I must have had 20 of these freaking cars, maybe 25 of them, you know, buying and selling them, driving them, taking girls on dates in them. You know, the, the, the Miata was my thing. All my friends were like, you got that little Miata girly car. I'm like, dude, these cars are the shit. They're like fun to drive, like a little go-kart, easy to work on. And I always loved them. And like a lot of people out there love the Mazda Miatas. And I just, it's just something I grew up with. And I love those little cars. <laughs> I just bought a Miata. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. So I just got off on a rant. Huge rant. Okay. So Nestor. Okay. Um, what's the, okay. Uh... What's the best strategy to sell an old low mileage car? 97 Corolla, paint is original, a little faded, but the car is 100. Dude, the strategy is the mileage. 97 Toyota Corolla, the most dependable car in the world. And it's a fact. Completely original. Paint is a little faded, but hey, it's a 97, guys. It's 20 years old. People know that. Only 114 grandmother driven miles. You put an ad like that in there, you're going to sell it quick. I would put that sucker in there for like 2,800. That is a little golden gem. You'll easily get 2,500 to 22 to 2,500 for that thing. Easily. Carlos, good luck. Sup? What's up, Ricky? What's up, Herbert? How do you sell without a dealer's license? Okay, well, there are two ways to flip cars for profit. You could do the dealer way or you could do it under the radar way. And I show you both ways um, 
through the F1 formula playbook right here. I'm going to put a link in the channel right here. I'm going to put a link in. You can check that out. Uh, but there are, are ways to do it, and I navigate. I show you both ways on how to do it. I, I really recommend if you're just starting out to start out in the private party market, just go out, you know, find deals, learn the market. The number one thing is to learn the market, you know, know what's out there and know how to spot a good deal. You know, once you do that, money is made on every purchase that you make. Um, 38,000 miles about to flip it. Dude, that is a, what kind, Lewis, tell me more about it. I may want it. What year? 38,000 miles. Tell me more about the Miata, Lewis. Maybe I'll buy it. Anything to know about flipping cars in California? Uh, flipping cars in California, you can get a title in your name the same day. Some places like New York, Dallas, if you get it registered under your name, it's going to take two to three weeks for them to mail you the title. So that can take a little long. If you do it the legal, you know, if you do it the legal way, which is what I recommend, you know, get them registered in your name, uh, your wife's name, your, your spouse's name, your partner's name, um, and, and do things legit. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to move you guys toward the wrong direction here. Um, so yeah, about California, a lot of opportunity in California, a lot of people buying and selling. Um, but again, with, a, with that many people and a lot of opportunity, there is money to be made. You just got to be on it, find a deal, scoop it, and then sell it. I mean, if, you're, if you guys are consistent at this and you get on and you spend an hour a day or 45 minutes a day, on hunting for deals and actually taking action and calling people, you will make money, right? If you take action with this, you will make money. There's no not making money, guys. It's just procrastination most of the time for people who don't who don't win with this. Um, so Gallo says, "Hey, I have a 2001 Toyota Camry XLE, 260,000 miles. I don't know if I should sell it low for 15 or wait out 25. Bought it three years ago for 2600." All right, so the Camry has a little high mileage, I think. Um, here is what I would do. List it for 25, okay, and then see what you get. Every three days or every two days, lower your price 100 or 200 bucks um, until it's sold. So just, just do it like that if you're not getting any calls because after a certain threshold point, People are going to start to see it. They're going to be like, man, I got to call. I got to, I got to buy it. Somebody's going to scoop it, right? People are looking. People are on Craigslist looking. You know, you get those people on there. They're searching for a car, but they're not in a rush to buy, but they're looking. And they, they start to see your price fall. They're going to be like, oh, wow, this guy's motivated. He wants to sell. And they'll give you a call and they'll buy your car, okay? So, you know, you could do it that way. Put it in for 25, wait a week. It depends on how quickly you want to get rid of it, how much time you have. Right, it's depending on your unique situation. If you feel like you want to get rid of it quick, put it up for twenty-five every day or every other day. Lower it two hundred bucks, like I said, and then you know by the you'll probably get rid of it within a week. Having trouble understanding the paperwork process? There's really no trouble understanding the paperwork process. The paperwork process is so simple. Everybody makes a big deal out of it. Um, yes, I do cover paperwork processes in the F1 formula course. So if you're interested, take a look at that. Um, it's super, it's really not a big deal. Um, anything to know about flipping cars in Florida? Same thing. Same strategies work in Florida, Australia. We got VIP members in Canada, Philippines, Singapore. Super competitive. Cars are very expensive in Singapore. Okay. Okay. So Giovanni, I'm trying to find good deal in Texas. I can't find spot a good deal. Okay. The reason why you can't find a good deal is because you don't know what a good deal is. You don't know what a good deal looks like. Okay. You need to start researching your market a little bit more, spend more time and everybody beats me to it. It's crazy. So that means you're not on it as much. You need to be on it. Okay, and there are, there are best times to be on searching for deals. There, there is a specific time that you want to be on searching for deals. Okay, and I cover that strategy along with a ton more in the F1 program. So if you guys are serious, you want to make money, invest in yourself. Okay, I'm not doing this to get rich. You think I get rich off of selling a $57 ebook? Come on, guys. Come on. It's just a way to help me pay for my time 
for you to get your information, okay? Because if, you, if I gave you every single strategy and secret tactic and everything that I do for free, it's worthless to you, okay? Because it just goes in one ear, comes out the other. You're not gonna take action on the advice. But if you pay for something, okay, you got a little bit of skin in the game, you're invested in a book and a program, you are more, and this is a fact, you are more prone to take action to listen to somebody that you invest in, okay? And I have higher coaching services that I offer, but not really for the car flipping game. I do, uh, but I, I have other businesses that I do more consulting, and I charge $1,500 an hour for consulting, okay? And I'm booked. So I don't give my time away just like that to everybody. Um, Kelvin, so guys, I've been on for a while now. Um, I have to go. All right. I hope you enjoyed. I hope Nestor, you got a bunch of golden nuggets out of this thing. He said, don't be lazy guys and girls. <laughs> Nestor, again, I want to say congratulations, man. I wanted to get on. I saw, I was in the bathroom. I was checking my emails and I saw your email. I was like, dude, look, Nestor said, send me your info. I'll pay $1,500 an hour right now. So Nestor is a guy who sees and who knows what value is when he sees it. Um, anyway, Nestor, I have other programs online that you may be interested in. Um, maybe not, but I will be sending email updates. You are on my VIP member list. Um, and, uh, you know, I have this new opportunity that I'm working on, uh, basically teaching people how to start an internet business, um, an internet business that I've been running online now for about eight years now. And, um, I've made millions of dollars online as well. Okay. As well as offline. And, I want to start teaching and educating people how to start their own little internet business that can make them six figures and make them, you know, even millions. It depends on how ambitious you are. Okay. So that's the information that I wanted to get out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm going to be heading out. Uh, what other business are you involved in? I'm involved in uh, a few internet businesses, not MLM, none of that stuff. Kingdom Child, I also sold that MR2 for 3,800, bought it for 1,000 at a salvage auction. That is awesome. So you made 2,800 bucks on that. <clears throat> In a big city, how are you sure of who you're letting for a test drive? They may want to steal the car or have a gun. Well, Herbert, I, I really suggest you go with your gut instinct. When you, when you meet people, you, you are, you know, everybody has a bullshit meter built in. Okay, so if you meet people and if you feel like ah, something's wrong, make up an excuse and get away from the situation. Okay, say, oh man, I had another appointment. I gotta go, dude. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot I had this appointment. And just get out of there. Clear yourself from the scenario. Okay, but if you feel like this guy, if you feel like, oh, this guy is trustable, I could trust this guy. He seems okay. He seems legit. He's, you know, then go with your gut, okay? If you feel frightened, if you feel scared, don't put yourself in a position where you're going to get compromised. So I would say go with your gut. I've always went with my gut. I've never had an issue, okay? Um, one time my godfather sold the car. He was 77 years old, and this guy wanted to buy the car in the middle of the night, 12, 12 midnight in Texas, 12 a.m., all right? And, he, and my godfather was like, really? You want to look at the car? You want to buy the car now in the middle of the night? The guy was like, yeah, I need a car. So he's like, okay, so he meets the guy, and in Texas, you're allowed to carry, okay? You could have a gun in the car if you have your concealed to carry uh, permit. So my godfather has a concealed to carry permit, and I talked about this on YouTube about a year ago. So he went to go meet the guy. First thing he said when he got out of the car, when he got out of the car was, I have a gun. If anything, you know, if, any, if you try to do anything crazy, I have a gun. That's what my godfather said. The guy was like, oh, don't worry about it. I just want to buy the car. He sold the car. The guy bought the car that night. And he went with my godmother together as a couple. Um, she followed him because if he bought the car, you know, he, he'd just go home with her, right? So he ended up selling the car that night to this guy. He sold a Volvo. It was like uh, 2003 or 2004 Volvo uh, wagon. Anyway, so that's that story. 
Uh, yes, people should read Think and Grow Rich. Absolutely. Yes, so I will be sharing for all of you guys um, that are interested in learning how to flip cars to profit, invest in yourself, get the F1 playbook right here. Okay, there is additional training that you can get with me if you want complete video trainings and step-by-step -step A to Z showing you how to make, basically make a few grand a month on your spare time with this. It's 100% doable. You can see Nestor here jumped on today. Uh, success story. I wanted to celebrate him because he took action and followed uh, and just took action. I mean, that's the main thing. Nestor, you got results because you took action. Simply said, you know, it's not anything special I did. I just, I'm just here to help you out, you know, and I'm glad that critique helped you out. Um, so that's that, guys. I got to head out. Uh, the next time I talk to you, we will be, I will be in Dallas. So we'll be streaming live from my Dallas shop next week, Tuesday night. Uh, hopefully earlier, I try to do these 8 p.m. Central. So uh, so that's that. And also, um, for all you newbies here, if you want to get a free book, okay, uh, that basically gives you a little bit of information how this whole thing works, you can go to, you can go to howtobuyandsellyourcards.com here and, uh, and do that. And um, what else? Yep. So... So that's that. So as far as the internet business side of things, that is a huge business, tons of money potential to be made there. Um, and, and yeah, Anthony, what's going on, brother? So I'll see you guys on next week. Hit the like button before you leave if you haven't yet. Um, thank you guys for jumping on tonight. It was a pleasure talking to you uh, tonight. And um, I will see you guys on next week. Have a good night, everybody. Talk soon. Talk soon, guys. Six hours is a little far away, buddy. I think that's a little far. Unless you could secure the deal and, you know, and if, if you feel that your time is, if, if it's worth your time to drive 12 hours back and forth to go look at a deal. It's up to you. I don't know what to tell you with that. For me, it's, I don't know if I'd do that unless I knew I was going to make three grand on a deal. Unless maybe, unless I knew I had a buyer or I knew I was getting it. All right. So hopefully that helps. Have a good night, everybody. Hit the like button. And um, here is the link again if you want to invest in yourself and get the F1 playbook that will change your life and your perspective on how the game is played in flipping cars for profit. Talk to you soon. Have a good night. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.